Right guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, first things first, I appreciate everybody who has subscribed to my channel in the last week or so. Thank you very much and I hope you like what I'm going to be knocking out in the future. So today, we're down the unit. Um, as you can see, I've got three cars in here, all saloons. But what we're down here for today really is the other door. I'm going to put a weather strip on the bottom this stuff so it seals the door off because the ground over there is very uneven so i thought i'd just put a weather strip on the bottom of that door so that will be that done and as i've got the infrared down here i'm going to remove take this the gray one out and put the infrared out in here under the pit and we'll have a look and see what she's like underneath so watch this space and i'll be back right guys um, we're going to start up the gray one now we've connected the battery um, took the this lock off let it do its business right we let her run take her off a choke we'll put the battery cover on and then we'll close the bonnet pull this out and then we're going to get the infrared in over the pit and uh, I'm going to get down in the pit and uh, we'll see what's what underneath of that. You haven't really looked underneath properly yet so uh, fingers crossed she's alright. But uh, we'll soon find out anyway guys. So I'm going to pull this out, put the battery cover on, pull this out and then I'll bring the infrared estate in and then we'll uh, get her over the pit, take the balls up and then I'll be back. So I'll see you in a sec. Right guys, we're back. She's in the garage. Um, so what I'm going to do now is handbrake off, roll her forward, take some balls up, get into the pit and then and while I'm under there, with a helping hand, push her back over the, the pit. So um, I've got virtually so, well, I'm under there and I can see virtually the hole underneath of the car. So bear with me and I'll be back and we'll be looking up, looking under the infra. Right, guys, we're underneath the infra and she don't look too bad. She don't look too bad. She's dry, as you can see. Um, I don't know what she's like down there. So I'll stick the light down there and have a look. But this is dry there, and over here, she's dry. But there is a little bit just there to be done. But other than that, she is dry. Just going to move the light so I can see where I'm going. The subframe itself just needs cleaning up, sandblasting. It's had a new lower arm, arm on this side, which is the passenger side on the driver side has still got the old one but as you can see subframe is all right this needs sandblasting and uh cleaning up oh no it's had all new brake pipes on it and the seals and all that down this side look good as you can see it's had new brake pipes as you can see all the way down and she's all right guys the heat shields are there as you can see there heat shields are there there's i don't know if that's a repair of some time here i don't know but um we will investigate when we start but as a on a whole she's all right she's got all the heat shields the standard exhaust is from the front down to this V piece, and then from there, from there to there is stainless, and then from here to there is stainless. But yeah, I'll be honest with you, gentlemen, I'm really happy with her. You know, she's all right, she is all right. 
So I thought we might have got underneath and she might have been a bit cruddy, you know, but she surprised me and uh, yeah. So that's that, guys. So we've checked the underneath of the infra and uh, I'll give her a thumbs up on that. Other than that little bit of welding, obviously the parking sensor loom needs to be recovered. But that can be done because we've got to put a parking sensor in, which, as I've said before, we've got it. And, uh, yeah, so that's it, guys. I hope you liked the video. And, uh, as I said, we've both got under the back of the infra. So, thumbs up if you like, guys. And uh, I will catch you on the next one. Right, guys. I'm out the hole. Uh, Info is out there. We put the grey one back in. And we're going to call it a day here today. We tidied up the bits up there. There's some wings and that up there. We just sorted them out and put the infrared red wings up there. And then next weekend, the bank holiday weekend, I'm going to come up in the ink blue. And we're going to put the ink blue doors on on it. Put the doors on the ink blue. Get them done. Get rid of them doors. And then we can either sell them ink, other ink doors or whatever. So, yeah. So, that's it. But carry on watching this space. The garage is done. It's not brilliant. But I've achieved what I wanted to achieve. It, it stopped the big gap at that end. So, that was that. And, um, yeah. So these are in here, as you can see. So yeah, so that's it guys. Um, we're gonna go home now. We're gonna go home and have a bit of lunch and a cup of tea. And I will see you very soon. Hi guys, we're at home. And um, what we've done, we've started up the silver one. We ain't been started up for ages. Just had to put some power into the battery and the way she went. Got a puncture on the infra today. I had to put the spare wheel on, but AO, that's that. Um, one thing I've got to show you is headlights. These headlights, they come with the infrared, but we stripped them down. Gave them a bit of a paint, as you can see. That clips onto there, but the clips are broke. We got the glasses off fairly easy. And um, what we've got to do now, guys, is really wait for the gun to warm up. And then we'll start gluing these on. We painted that. We repainted the backs because it was a bit grubby, so we repainted those. And now we can start boxing them up. And uh, um, yeah, so bear with us, guys, and be back. Right, guys, we're going to start applying the glue to the first part of the headlight. The gun is all nice and warm. Right, guys, we've got to put this on to here. The clips are broke, but you have to push it on and just slightly turn it and wiggle it, and it should just clip in, but the clips are broke, so that's why we are gluing it. But we will get there, and uh, it will hold once we can uh, get it in. And I do believe we're at home now, guys. We've done it. Right, guys, we're going to install... This is on, this is nice and secure. So we're going to install the back cover, which that obviously pops in there. As you can hear the click. Now this goes like that in. And then this one comes up and pushes in like that. So now, We've got to put the screws in. So, <clears throat> excuse me. 
Yeah, let's see, one in there. Yeah, that's pulling a home. You can feel that going home. Get the other one. And then that one is up here. That's in. That's it. Right, that's it guys, they're in. So now, basically all it is now is to put the plastic fascia on. Obviously we've got to run some glue around there, all the way round, and then push on the uh, plastic fascia. And then, excuse me, it's done. <coughs> and uh, uh, yeah, I'll get it all set up, make sure everything's clean and I'll be back. Right guys, we're gonna put the fascia on now, the plastic fascia, we've cleaned it up. So we're gonna run the glue round. Guys, uh, get the, the lid as we say. Guys, I'll have to take it back, I'll come back. Right guys, I've got it on. Basically what it was, was this clip. This clip here was tucking inside, so I had to quickly pull it out, ping it back, and then press it back in. So, um, but yeah, so that's, that's them on. That's the pair of them, there's the other one here. <coughs> Same procedure, obviously, on the headlights. So, um, Gonna put them on the infrared and see what they look like on the infrared. So I'll take the grill off and uh, pull out the pins and see where we'll see what happens. That's it guys, see then, and now this one. So, oh. that's it guys, I'll put the other one on, and I'll put the grill on, and I'll be back. Right guys, they're on, and they're on, and they all work, and um, I'm quite happy with the finished article. So um, there was a, um, a subscriber who said that them lights would look great on there, and he's right. So if he, he's going to watch this uh, video, I'll say thumbs up to him because he was spot on. They do look good. Do look good. But going back to what I said earlier about getting a puncher, look at this. Look at the tyre. Split, all split down there. Um, I had to run on it a little while because we down some little country lanes and um, there was nowhere to stop so we had to get out to the main drag to pull over in a laid by and change the wheel over but I bought something else um, it's back to the originals another saloon but I will show you it when it comes home, it should come home in a couple of weeks. 
So um, I've agreed a price with a guy. I gave the guy a deposit. I just got to um, get trans arrange transport, and uh, um, he should be home in a couple of weeks, guys. So yeah, so that's that. Here's the old ones we took off. So um, they're all right. They're fine. No, nothing wrong with them. It's just that we had them and we thought we'd try them. But this good little tool, this, bought this from Alfred's, only a tenner. But it'd be nicer if this head was a little bit longer. But it done the job, so that's the main thing. So that's it, guys. Um, I hope you liked the video. Thumbs up if you did. And, <coughs> excuse me. So that's it. So that's it for today. And, um... I'll see you on the next one.